Hospitals are bracing for another surge of COVID-19 patients. In parts of Texas, COVID-19 hospitalizations have roughly quadrupled in just a few weeks. It's not good. It's serious. We're going to need another 200 plus hospital rooms. In Utah, the State Hospital Association is warning about rationing care as ICU beds run low. We have the PPE we need to protect our staff. We just don't have enough people. The U.S. is now averaging more new COVID-19 cases every day than our previous peak in July. Hospitalizations lag behind cases, but they're rising and likely to keep going up too. Overall, we are seeing less sick people um, and lesser case fatality rate, which is good. We spoke with two doctors treating hospitalized COVID patients. Dr. Rohini Sharma is an infectious disease specialist in Denver, Colorado, and Dr. Ben Singer, a pulmonary critical care specialist in Chicago, Illinois. They say now more patients are younger and have a better chance of surviving the virus. Treatments have also improved. I'm really interested in what your experience has been like and how that was in March and April versus again now uh, several months later. This was an unknown animal to start off with. As soon as studies came in with more data, there were hundreds of studies from China, from US, from Europe, and that helped us improve on our treatment modalities. We've learned new things about how to treat COVID and how not to treat COVID. So avoiding the use of medications like hydroxychloroquine. We know that steroids like dexamethasone for select patients uh, can play a role in improving their outcomes. The FDA approval of antiviral drug remdesivir, shown to lower the number of days a COVID patient spends in the hospital, is a another step too. Both doctors warn with new COVID cases and hospitalizations climbing, an uptick in deaths is usually what comes next. They say it's important to mind the public health guidance we've been hearing all along. Distance, wash your hands and wear a mask. Till we have a vaccine, I would say a mask is a poor man's vaccine till then. Lindsay Thies, Newsy, Denver.